bet. So it starts off as a normal day. I walk into my gym. I don't scan in, cause I'm like T-Pain and bartender. Bartender, you're looking at me. You wanna know how scan? Yeah, uh, beep. Nice try, just stop up. But this time, they try to stop me. Something's not right here, something is off. Honest mistake though, could be a new guy, I'll have him fired. And then I enter the weight room, and I stop dead in my tracks. It's crowded, but I sense I'm not alone here. And then I see him, a guy. A bro, lifting fucking weight, my weight, acting like he's better than me. Fuck this guy. Fuck that guy right there. That disgrace, that's my gym nemesis. This is gonna happen to everyone. At some point in your gym, you're gonna run into your Venom. Except you wanna be Venom, cause Spider-Man's a bitch. I mean, look at this guy. If Helen Keller were a fucking jack-o'-lantern, she could still see that I'm bigger than this scrub. At the very least, it's a toss-up. I'm heads though. And tails. So your gym nemesis is the bro that's similar size, similar build, looks sort of like you, you probably crush the same type of pussy, similar style, but he's deaf bite in mine. You and this guy, you're competing in the same weight class. He is your direct competition. You have established that in your gym, you are the undisputed champ at six foot, 170, sort of cut, strong on incline dumbbell, bro who's here every day from two to four. And now this homo is here in your weight room, all minding his own business, trying to take the belt from you. Not today, Pacquiao. Forget it. Scan the horizon and size this dude up from a distance. Run through your checklist, all right? Arms, chest, shoulders. Mind bigger? Probably, yeah. Think so. All right? Is he strong? Okay, he's about to lift that. It's pretty heavy. Let's see what his form is like. All right, not bad. Well, let's not jump to conclusions here. Back to arms. Are his bigger? Ah, man, hard to tell from here. Hard to tell. Hard to tell from here. Is he taller? Is he taller than me? My dick's taller for sure. It is crucial that you find a way to pick apart this douchebag so you can get back on top. This is like an even bigger and more fucked up extension of body dysfunction. It's like when you look in a mirror and you can't tell if you're small because you can't see both yourself and your reflection at the same time. So who's really bigger? Yeah, your weights are fake, dude. I know it. These are real. These are real. These are real. Those are fake. As the famous Mastro physicist and skipper of leg day, Stephen Bulking has proven, space and time are relative, but pointless. The only thing that matters is mass, and mass is also relative. You are only big if you are bigger than something that is also big. This is science, and as your body dysmorphia dictates, you can't tell how big you are simply by looking at your muscles. Closer to your nemesis, but be careful. 
Don't raise any alarms. The last thing you want is him catching you looking and thinking you're Byron. side by side. He could have had better lighting, a better pump at the time, whatever, inconclusive. There's a 90% chance you're bigger than him, and there's a 10% chance he thinks you're gay for him. Joke's on him. The only thing I'm gay for is myself. <laughs> You need a room? Private. Oh, get lost, you pervert. Fucking oh, creep. This guy's a creep. This guy's a creep, everybody. Now this dude is definitely following you. And it has nothing to do with you inching your workouts closer to him or using the same equipment. He wants you dead. Or worse, to be smaller than him. Since the mirrors are obviously ripped from a carnival funhouse and the lighting is clearly skewed in his favor, you need to bring in outside judges. Don't ask for anyone's opinion. Just grab your boy and start talking shit about the guy. That's more your speed, trust me. Can you put it back in? Yeah. Please? That's what your girl said. Yeah, you put it back in. You put it back in. I think I get hard for it. Really? You girl's so ugly, dude. Wait, seriously? and tension builds. You hate this guy more than you hate girls that don't give blowjobs. Like, what are you too good to put my hot dick in your mouth, Mother Teresa? But I digress. You've been working out next to each other for weeks. You put enough bears on the ice, and eventually it's gonna break. You can only be next to somebody for so long before you start talking about your muscles. At some point, one of you has to brag. Yo, I've never, I've never done it like that. Is that good? Like all the way back? Like this? A little bit lower. Turn your wrist out more. You turn it out more, huh? Normally I just rip like 60s or 70s, bro. Like way more than that. It works, as you can see. Yeah. Your biceps are good, bro. How about mine? Mine are good, good too. Good. I know. I thought you were a punk bitch at first, but now we're like yeah. bros. What's your name? Brad. Oh, Don. Good to meet you, bro. Good to meet you, dog. Good to meet you. And just like that, you become bros. It's like being friends with the only person you actually want to be friends with. Yourself. When he talks about his biceps, it's like he's talking about my biceps. Cause he is now. Cause the only reason I asked him about his biceps was so I can talk about mine. Which are bigger and better. Fuck this guy. Pokemon. Please. Uh, Sorry, Pokemon cards what? or something. Pokemon? Like Pokemon cards or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Start talking about Pokemon cards. Yeah. What a business are we in? Oh, okay. Pretty sick, dude. My yeah. little pony. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to Bradley Martin online on YouTube as well, uh, channel. And you know, if you want to be as big as me, or if you'll settle for being as okay as Brad, you should go to brosubs.com and try Pump because it's 100% the reason for our success. Speaking of success, I also sell t-shirts, I also sell clothing, uh, so go to domlerks.com to get your tickets to Miami. I'm gonna start showing real estate too in New York. Email me about that if you're looking for property. You, you ever think about investing in gold coins too? Pyramid scheme, the Illuminati. The knives, you, if you need knives too, I'm selling cut code door to door. Cut, you cut like bricks and shit with it. <laughs> no, I'm not like coke. I sell coke too.